Lafferty and I'm from here, from Prestonsburg, born and raised here and um, I moved to Dayton, Ohio and got a job at Starbucks and gosh, 13, 14 years ago. That was the first job I had really where I learned a lot about coffee and worked in a coffee shop. Um, I worked there for a while but then I got offered a position in Kettering, Ohio uh, managing a small coffee shop, um, just kind of like a little place kind of like I have and I loved it. Um, I quit college, which I know it sounds like a very stupid thing, but I quit college to run the coffee shop full time because I absolutely fell in love with it. I started having kids and I, uh, my grandparents were very sick and I really wanted to be with them and help take care of them, so I chose to move my family here back to my hometown. And um, I really missed having a coffee shop. I missed it and I wanted to have one and Prestonsburg had never had one before so it took several years of planning and saving and being creative and praying until I finally landed on it. 2016 I opened. I started planning it many many years before that. I mean and it started literally with just like ideas jotted down in a notebook. I would just sit and doodle um, coffee shop names and um, you know look up stuff on on the internet uh, prices of espresso machines and just like random stuff and just kind of dream and just kind of think about it um, I used to work in an office I worked at Apple Red Legal Aid for a, several years about four years um, and I would always like make everybody coffee and make drinks and I would always joke around and say you guys just wait one day I'll have my own coffee bar or my own coffee shop or something and you know I would sit and dream about it and just 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 kind of daydream and just come up with different ideas and stuff like that but and in some ways I kind of never really expected it to happen I really you know I didn't really think it was something that I could do I didn't really believe in myself I guess when I first decided to do this um, I just one night just went live on Facebook and just to talk about it to get feedback and like the amount of support and interest that was shown just on that live Facebook video was like absolutely insane. I cried and cried and cried that night like hundreds of people that were supportive and excited and like giving such encouraging words and just like really showing me hey people are gonna come and they're gonna pay for this coffee and they're gonna support you and like not just that but like people were thanking me so it's nothing for people to come in here and say thank you for having this coffee shop so that just shows me it's not just support that they give me like it's gratitude like they are actually thankful that we have this place it's crazy if I hadn't given it over to God this place totally would not be here because well, like when you go out on when you go out on an adventure like this to do something as bold as to open a coffee shop during like I opened this place like when the economy was really affected by coal like big time the coal industry had really went completely under and people thought I had lost my mind because I was opening a small business at a time like that when the economy was plunging but I prayed and prayed and prayed and said, God, if this is not supposed to happen, shut the window. And he did at first. He did shut a window that I thought for sure I was going to, you know, it was time. I was going to open my own coffee shop and the window shut. Things didn't fall into place like they were supposed to. But then it came up again, the opportunity, and I, I prayed my guts out. And, like, I just did not have that feeling inside of me. Like, I knew for a fact that God was pushing me towards it. So... If it wasn't for my faith and my knowledge of, of knowing like when to listen to God and do something and when not to do it, then I would have never made the decisions that I did. I want it to be a, a place for anybody to be able to come and relax anytime. But some things that I've realized over the past year are, um, are teenagers in this area. Like they don't have anything to do and any place to go that's like a good sober like uplifting environment you know to hook to Wi-Fi to just sit kind of be free do whatever you want um, I'm really wanting to do more with our teens in this area because I think it's really important I know I didn't have any place like other than like restaurants and parking lots and stuff like that to go to whenever I was 
you know, a teenager. Um, but like we had an open mic night here one night and it was really cool because you got to see these kids have a good clean sober place to do something. And so it started making me realize we need more of that and so I'm really hoping that we can do more with the teens in the community, more with the kids in the community, to give them more stuff to do, more opportunities to kind of, um, you know, paint, sing, be creative. Um, stuff like that. So that's something I'm hoping to expand.